so that will be a question that's raised but it's it, we really have to be careful because we may all be saying in a, in a few minutes or a few hours time well actually it was a gas explosion and all this political ex speculation may not be relevant to what has happened yes I mean I'm just reading as you as you talk to us Bridget and please stay with us for the moment um, that the epicenter of the explosion at least on some of the news wires seemed to be between the Prime Minister's office and the oil and energy ministry which were both badly damaged and just and what I know you've been watching these pictures with us Bridget but the the scale of the blast does seem to be very large doesn't it it does but I mean uh, that doesn't mean to say that that no. means in itself that it was deliberate although um, if it was deliberate uh, well it has caused a large explosion we can mm. see the smoke um, rising above the capital still now um, we have seen that a lot of buildings had their windows blown, blown out, out. Yep. of course in a built-up area like this it, where there are a lot of government buildings and high-rise buildings there will be a lot of glass mm. that um, sh shatters because there will be a lot of plate glass and a lot of high buildings and therefore they're vulnerable to that sort of damage but if you look there on the street it, it clearly is a scene of some devastation although still people um, on the streets uh, it's quite shocking, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yes. the certainly these these pictures, which I think uh, have in some cases come via uh, Twitter, which were clearly taken so soon after the blast, um, gives you an immediate sense of the scale of it, um, and the element of confusion, which would almost always creep in straight after a blast has gone off as people are not at that point cordoned off because it is you know it's before the authorities arrive at the scene uh, and there well that re that may or may not be significant of course because there was a report wasn't there about a car I think mm. Reuters talking mm. Bridget about a car having been found damaged nearby. Well, you would al always if you were there and thinking about this um, in, in journalistic terms about what might it be and yeah. what might be the motivation and, and what might be the relevant uh, elements you would say well is there a mangled car and lo and behold there is that doesn't mm. necessarily mean it's it's relevant